Hey guys, and uh, we're back today to do a nice little project of a downloader. So this could be used for updating and it will be used in the antivirus project that I'm currently working on on the same channel. So I should put a link to that in the end of the description. So what we're going to need is an edit box. Like so. And this is going to have our URL in it. And then we need a button, like so, and we don't need anything else. So this is going to be called download. So why would you ever need to download and run something? Well, a prime example of this is an update system. Um, so uh when you require an update system uh, as we will do in the antivirus project i'm currently doing uh you uh will need to download other binaries so updates or you'll be able you need to download uh, databases so i'm going to quickly save this project and you guys are going to get the blank screen Da, 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 da. We'll stick it in the YouTube directory. So I've just created a unit called Updater, and we're going to save the rest of the project in here as well doesn't particularly need to be named anything any good like so and now we've done that we can move straight along we only do users windows we need to use syst probably utils classes we want shell api and we also want um, URL mon. My spelling is terrible today. Right, so we're just going to uh, create a procedure. Actually, we're going to have a function. Download updates. And we want it to reply Boolean, so yes or no. Uh, it only wants the URL as a string. And we're going to go be like so. And this is the really simple bit. So we're going to do URL uh, download to file and it's going to want a few variables so uh, the first one we're going to put is nil then we want our um, URL so we want the string URL um, and then let me have a gander if it's going to let me it's not so I'm going to guess that the next thing we want is the path, if I remember correctly, which is just going to be, uh, we're going to use a PNG, um, so we're just going to call it update.png, um, and then next we want a zero, and after that we're going to want a nil again, and then we'll do a shell, execute, and this is going to want a handle, so we're going to have to make a handle. Um, so we're going to put H as our handle. And now we want uh, open. Um, and then the path. Uh, so we don't actually, we don't want that comma in there. We want the comma outside of it. Now I think... 
no, I'm pretty sure it can be as a normal thing, so the path is going to be uh, update.png and then after that we want nil, nil and sw underscore show nor model like so um, so I believe shell execute returns does it? or maybe not oh yes it does Uh, da -da. So we're going to set our default to false. Right, and that should do it. Now we come over to our unit 2, double click on our download. Um, we need to declare up here our updater. We need to declare our updater function in the head, so we can call it from another function. And then we need to double click on our button again, like so, and take that out, edit that out, and take that out. So then what we do is an if, then begin, and else, begin, so message. Or show. I'm going to show a message. Failed. Um. Like so. And now we're going to go to the Google Home page. Oh, not to that page. And we're going to copy the image address for the Google Home image. We're going to start this up. Uh, it's not going to work because I've missed out something right there. All right, so once our URL as P characters as well. That's fine. I haven't used this feature in a little while. So edit one dot text goes in there. And now if we hit play, we get a compiled downloader. And when it pops up on our screen, we can paste our URL in. And we get a Google image. So that's it for this week, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see anything else, if you have any ideas for something you want, uh, I am currently taking suggestions, so leave them in the comment section below. Um, I will not be providing source code for this as it's two lines of code, three lines of code. Um, just watch the video back and you know, you'll pick it up quite quickly. Uh, there's not really that many variables. Um, link to the in my description for my blog if you want to see any other projects in a minute there will be the antivirus project I commented about shown so hope you guys enjoyed it smack a thumbs up until next time guys hey guys if you're not already subscribed there's a square and subscribe button right here Here's my antivirus videos if you're not up to date with that catch up here is uh, how to get delphi for free if you're not a delphi user you can get it for free just hit up that video and until next time guys